Hi, peasants. I've missed you a little bit. I know I don't post much anymore, but... <sighs> I'm even upset about that. <clears throat> They're like, is that Nikocado? So many people have come up to me. Walmart. Let's just make this a nice long video. I feel like we haven't hung out together. How many of you guys miss me? I know you all miss me. I know. <laughs> you know. But hi, peasants. I know you all miss me. I miss some of you. Some of you. But it's nice to be away from all you a-holes. Every day I would come on here and people would just be like, fat, fat, die, die, pig, pig. Um, and I'm just like, why am I here for you anymore? I don't even know why I need to be here. Everyone has their tipping point. And you know I have thick skin. Very thick skin, but everyone has their breaking point. And I, you know, fans, digging photos of me as I'm eating in my car. Five, oh. I'm here in Texas. How do I turn this off? I'm here in Texas. In the, in the woods. I look extra skinny because I cut the sides of my hair. And I kind of messed up. And it's your fault. And I'm filming on a cell phone. Hello. So this is a place called What a Burger. And got a large, um... <laughs> I'm supposed to be diabetic not today peasants okay I also brought my glasses because I'm literally blind from the diabetes I can't see the sugars <laughs> so good thing I brought the glasses so I can drive and I got apparently I just heard that I'm supposed to get something that I did it and he should have told me it's called a honey walnut Shrimp? No, wait, that's, uh, that's Pan Express. What's the thing? What's the thing? Oh! Honey chicken sandwich! It's breakfast time, by the way. Oh, let's do a little thumbnail. Get this. Mm. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. And I love Texans. They're so polite. And they give you waters for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this all the way back? I have to make sure, and I'm not going to make sure my chair goes flying. <gasps> but I love breakfast sauce. Did you guys know I am a big fan of breakfast? All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I don't know if this is like, oh, I, I was supposed to do the honey chicken, but I just downloaded the app so I can get a free burger. <laughs> I literally flew to Texas for a burger. Literally. I could have just driven in Jacksonville. <gasps> okay, so this here is sausage. You kind of... And then the taste is inside. <laughs> the flavors. You know, I see that more and more on TikTok. But then again, I feel like once you watch something and you like it, they keep recommending you similar things. So I'm getting all these things about banana peels. Okay, so this is sausage, egg, and cheese. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh Mm. I just like that it's not in California. <laughs> I've been here for all of two seconds. I'm in Dallas, by the way. I've been here for two seconds. Two. Don't my mic on. Where's the lock? Cheapers. Um, everyone is so much nicer. The lady at the drive-thru window was so polite, so nice, so kind, so patient. The lady who drove, who drove my shuttle from the airport to pick up this rental car, so nice, so polite, so... Just a sense of humor. Just something funny about these people. Should I pull back around for this thing that I should have gotten? <gasps> In California, when you're dodging homeless and do dodging needles all over the place, you finally get to your destination. They say, what you want? I understand there... It's... It's... A I'm not talking to you right now. I'm busy. Oh! 
Is this syrup? Is that grease? <gasps> oh, and the sun, the rays are coming down, the sunshine. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 what is this? <laughs> mm, mm. Mm. Oh, that's very salty too. Ooh, ooh, hash brown. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I love Texas. The ladies are nice. The lady was nice at the bus. The lady was nice at the drive-thru. The lady was nice at the airplane. I had, no joke, Lindsay Lohan meets um, Rose Dawson from Titanic as my flight attendant. I flew first class because I don't fit anywhere else. I still have to get a seatbelt extender in first class. How embarrassing. <laughs> Literally, I, don't, I, I had a seatbelt extender. You should give it to, you know, the morbid obese, which I'm not, and pregnant people. Can you imagine? Do those even exist in like I don't know Cambodia? I was gonna say Philippines, but there's a lot of fat Filipinos. They are chunky. All right, so this is a biscuit with um, cheese on top, and it's like a wet biscuit. Oh. Am I supposed to use my fingers? They did give me a fork, but yes, I had literally Lindsay Lohan. She's so pretty, so pretty, pretty. I literally want to say to her, you were gorgeous. She probably was like mid-30s, maybe early 40s. And I just want to say to her, I'm... Did she leave me alone? I'm filming. But I want to be a creep, you know? People get creeped out nowadays. But I'm like, it's Texas. She might, she might like the compliment because, you know, they're, you know, they're more normal. But then again, I, this is my first time. <gasps> Look at these cheese balls. Being so, like, speaking highly of these... I don't know. I don't want... Oh, there's egg, too? Oh, oh. Look at the cheese pulls. Excuse me. Mm. Oh! Okay, they don't have this in Florida. I guess they do in Jacksonville. I do not like Jacksonville. A scary place. It's where the devil goes to, you know, vacation. Oh! Yeah, it's his second home there. Jacksonville. <laughs> scary can you see me okay I'm, I have water because I'm healthy she was so pretty I want to say this flight attendant I'm like has anyone told you just her hair was like deep red it, her hair looked like the water burner roof maybe slightly redder slightly redder yeah and she had veneers but they were very well done mm. 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 oh I have to take my medicine it's not my diabetes. Where is it? It's something else, which I'm not going to tell you. But let's just say it makes you angry, apparently. The side effects, which I'm already starting to experience. It gives you like a rage. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to show you. Excuse me. Come to this little... Yeah, and my face gets flush. And my ding dong gets really big. Things get flowing. So, can anyone guess? I saw that on TikTok too. I'm like living on TikTok these days. I'm TikTok famous, apparently. Hashtag Nikocado. Mercy! I'm filming! If you, okay, hi Texans. Oh, so embarrassing. I, I love your state. I love your state. Ooh, I don't want to show the pill. It's vitamins. I saw a guy on TikTok, and he was a medical person. He was, he was playing a game where they tell him all the symptoms that other person's having. He has over oh, 60 seconds to try to decide what the disease is without looking at the paper. And he gets it because he's smart. Oh, oh, that vitamin tastes not good. Okay, let's go back to my burrito. I got the wrong stuff. And I also wore the wrong shoes. I'm not even joking. I'll show you in a minute. They're like big old clown shoes. But I did bring my slides for Walmart. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. I love water burgers. 
I love what, see, I'm already getting red in the face. The medicine is working. It's supposed to make you skinny. No, not really. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm. So festive, they give you a little, it looks like popcorn. Let's see, currently I see, I'm right by the airport. So I see, you know, a Marriott. Hey, James. Oh, harassment. I don't care. Remember that joke that he started at that horrible, disgusting channel? Are they still around? Still. Remember they manipulated? Whatever. Ooh, things are shaking. Okay, so this is really good. I don't know what type of... Look at the cheese. Mm. Have I been gross this whole time? Ooh, this is a buttered biscuit, too. But yeah, that flight attendant, I was really so highly considering my head just to make her day. Sometimes it's nice to be like complimented or, hey, you're so pretty. But you know, I, I had in my head, I, I was already planning it out. I was sitting there in first class like a king. I said, I was going to say to myself, when getting off, oh, has anyone told you that you're very beautiful? Like seriously, you're so gorgeous. And, and I swing the other way. But from your hair, your teeth, the whole package, you're gorgeous. I just wanted you to know. And I really was going to tell her, but she was standing next to another flight attendant. They are standing together saying, bye, thank you, come again, bye, thank you for flying, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dang, if I say that to her with the other lady standing there, the other lady's going to feel really bad. I mean, I could throw on the roof, and you too, with your bun. <laughs> she had like this little, little, little onion at the top of her hair. On top of her head, like a tea kettle. Mm. This is cheesy. This is so good. Mm. Mm. What are you doing, my dad? What are you doing, my dad? She's just standing there. Let's see if you can see. There she is. Messing up my show. Mm. I like how um, I'm being blessed right now. See the rays of light coming down. <clears throat> Here goes Janet Jackson. <sighs> did, she just, did, she, did she ever put her thing back on? You know that was planned, right? See the ratings. Don't look at me, lady. Ah. Locking the doors. The biscuit's actually really good. It's super buttered. Mm. How many of you guys miss me? I know you all miss me. I know. <laughs> mm. The flight was very smooth. I'm so tired, by the way. I only got three hours of sleep. And you're thinking, like, why are you here, Nikocado? Well, honestly, I'm only here for this. I'm only here for the cheeseburger. Look, my face is turning red already. Is it getting bigger down there? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, last night it was like... I'm like, wow, like a whole inch came out. Um, by the way, that doesn't mean I'm only one inch. I mean, an, an inch extra that I'm used to seeing. I, you know, here's the thing. When, when God makes you how you is, you have your length. Just like girls have their, le their length up here, I have my length down there. And what happens is you keep that length for life. But depending on your diet, and depending on your weight and your circumstances, it might shrink. It's not actually shrinking, lady. It's getting sucked into the quicksand. The fupa. But I don't have a fupa. But I do. It's really big. It's like Pillow Mountain down there. <laughs> oh. And so it's, it's still there. It's just buried. We have to get it out. That means you either have to lose 200 pounds... Where I take this great vitamin, Ooh. <laughs> which is easier, actually. 
Okay, um, I'm still hungry, but I feel really fat. Raw honey. That lady sells raw honey. Oh, can you see me, hi? This is really good. I kind of want to go back and get that honey thing, but I have to go somewhere. I have a date. But I'm here too. Nancy, I'm coming. Mm. For the first time ever, I love biscuits. This is be the best breakfast ever. Mmm. 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 -mm. <laughs> It's just, uh, I have to show you actually what mom says. Mm. I have a hole in my mouth. The tooth came out. I never replaced it. Even though the dentist tries saying, you need to do a bridge. Horrible. Trying to take money for me. And give me due dates. I don't need due dates. I left school for a reason. Do you guys know I'm a dropout? Yeah. Now. Oh, look at that old man trying to pick up his cane literally fell over. Oh, his cane. He's trying to get his cane. Someone help him get his cane. They strip it! They, he, he should be, he should, excuse me. De Where's the handicap spot? Oh my God, I'm in the... I'm in the handicap spot. I am so sorry. Oh no. I need um I need to get going. This is a short little sweet little video. Um God, I'm still so hungry. And that's the thing when you have fast food, you get hungrier for more and more and more. Look at this double chin. See, that's what my uh, pillow mountain downstairs looks like. And so my length is still length. It's just buried in there. Uh. There that goes the old man. If he gives cane, he got his cane. Crippled. Alright, I need to get going. Hey, Texas, here I am! People always say, oh, Nick, you're such a hillbilly. That's why you like Florida. That's why you like Texas. It has nothing about hillbillies or billies. One time, I had a little guy named Billy. He's not really good. Literally, it was as thin as the straw. <laughs> and I don't mind small. I actually like small. Ooh, when they're so cute dangling around. Ooh, gets me excited. But not when they're skinny. No, like a straw. <sighs> oh my gosh, look at my face. I was like, when am I going to hit traffic? And I have a bug bite. Or is that something? Just something like skin cancer or something. No, that's a boil of barnacles. <sighs> you guys know this is my heart attack. This is my heart attack arm. Look at that. That's from a heart attack. That's a ropatio like a summation. What's the, I can't remember the name they told me, but like if I touch here, I feel um, nerve damage in my hand. So if I go like this, ooh, I feel it right here. Because it, it's all connected. Ugh, it's never, it's never healed, and it got discolored. It's really sad. I should be dead. Well, that was wonderful. I'm still really hungry. I know you're like, but you barely ate, you know. But hi, patience. I know you all miss me. I miss some of you, some of you. But it's nice to be away from all you a-holes. Every day I would come on here, and people would just be like, fat, fat, die, die, pig, pig. Um, I'm just like, 
why am I here for you anymore? I don't even know why I need to be here. So that's why I just moved over to my Patreon. <gasps> Follow my Patreon. <clears throat> um, you know, everyone has their tipping point. And you know, I have thick skin. Very thick skin, but everyone has their breaking point. And I, you know. Uh, I really gotta brush my teeth because of the biscuit. I'm, I, I'm like trying to clear... I definitely need to try that honey thing that everyone's been telling me. And I need to come here and try all the butter. This is one of my favorite fast food restaurants ever. I love it. And so far, the manners have been A+. Like Chick-fil-A. Hospitality. I am not okay. <laughs> and every time I come onto YouTube, I always say, I'm not okay. Hi, it's me. I'm not okay. I'm never okay. There's someone watching probably like this man's recording himself. Oh, listen, peasants. Let me turn this off since we're stuck here in line. I'm at Whataburger, which I'm really excited for. Ooh, shine bright like a diamond. Look at my double chin bounce when I talk really fast. Look at my double chin bounce when I talk about it. It's jelly. Look, it has a little uh, butter on it, like a popcorn butter. But I'm not about to bring it. Go back. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on. I'm currently here in Texas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add... There goes the light. I don't know if I'm going to add this on the as an extension to when I first arrived in Texas. And I had Whataburger. Um, what a burger right out the airport and it was amazing i didn't get i didn't get the right thing which i did end up getting later on here on the strip which was that breakfast honey chicken biscuit which was the best biscuit i've ever had i'm in love with this restaurant now i see the hype like texans love it i look yellow like wow anemia um so anyways i'm here in texas well i didn't just do it it was probably four or five hours ago and i can and walk and move and you know <clears throat> i don't Like, I can't even move. He could tell by, I think he could tell by looking at me. So, um, yes, large and in charge, but I do sit in my seatbelt. Okay. Um, car tour. Here we are. Here we are at Whataburger. Um, there's the orange umbrella because it's orange logo. Oh, yes, here we go. It's our turn. <sighs> Guys, like when I vlog, here we go. We're vloggers now. Ooh. Um... And vlogging with the kit with an iPhone is so easy. Let's put this in the park again. And let's turn off to shade cast. Hi peasants. I've missed you a little bit. I know I don't post much anymore, but <sighs> I don't even know what to say about that. <clears throat> They're like, is that Nikocado? So many people have come up to me. Like everywhere. Walmart, at the restaurants, at the Mexican restaurant. Well, everywhere I go. <clears throat> Um, so I don't even know what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna get. I don't have my studio lights. I don't even have my camera stand. I'm gonna film it in the car. I'm just gonna put this like right here or something. And um, we're just gonna do it. You know, this is in the moment. Not a lot of planning going on. But how are you today? I am wearing my red meltdown shirt though. Let's see if I can um, put on these lights for you. Hello, thank you. Shine bright like a diamond. So the line's really long, but you know what? If they take their time and it tastes good, that's all that matters. Um, I'm very excited. So without further ado, let me pull up when it's my turn to look at the menu. I don't know what to get. Um, I do know I want the onion rings because those onion rings were memorable to me last time. It's my bipolar. People say, oh, mental illness. Well, mental illness can make you a career. Oh, look at me. All right, it's our turn. Here we go, Jeepers Creepers. Come on, I don't like this lane. I think it's the lane's fault. There's something wrong with this lane. And we'll turn it off again. Isn't it starting and stopping your car really bad for the engine? Oops. Oh, so I have down here some uh, things to help me get through the night. We have an avocado. A big, big avocado. And we have a small one in there too. And we also have an iceberg lettuce head. A head of iceberg lettuce. Is it our turn? It's our turn. Oh my gosh. It's our turn. Here we go. Going to the water burger. Here we go. Here we go. They probably think I'm recording them, but I'm not. Okay. Here's everything good to eat. I'm so excited. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, let's 
coffee, what is there to eat? Well, breakfast, it's no more. I really want to try... Oh, the patty melts are pretty things that I think. I want something with, like, honey barbecue. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to make up my decision. I'm really bad at decisions. Okay, bye. What a burger! I call it McDonald's. Drive all around, singing songs till I'm dead in the ground. Here we go. What a burger is nice. Give me some vanilla on ice. This is my jam. I look like a Thanksgiving ham, but it's just water weight. Yes, it is. I can't see the sign and now I'm pissed. All right, let's eat. All right. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to ask for ranch. I forgot to ask for spicy ketchup. I forgot to ask for a lot of stuff. Maybe they were nice and gave me some. Nope. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I actually doesn't need dip. It's so greasy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I guess I was getting kind of hangry, wasn't I? Mm. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's hot and steamy. All right, so I did ask for extra mayo. Mayo, lettuce, tomato, pickle. It's very hot. Ooh. Come on, open for the present. Ooh. Okay, so that is the sweet and spicy. Yeah, it smells like spice and sweet. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. It's probably like that. Ooh. All right, first thing we're going to do is just potty melt. Greasy beef with cheese. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. It looks like gray. No, it's greasy and wet. And fried onions. Mmm. This is huge, by the way. This is very heavy. The sweet, sweet and spicy. Oh. oh my god. Mm. Oh my <clears throat> I can't even talk to you right now. Mmm. Does that look good to you? Maybe not with the sliding. Dang. Mmm. I, I feel like I need McDonald's french fries. Let's close my eyes and imagine. Mm. 
Да. Let's do this chicken sandwich. Mm. Mm, come on. There you go. The top's running away. <laughs> nice. Oh my God, people are like noticing me as I eat. Fans taking photos of me as I'm eating in my car. Oh, great, let's make sure these doors are locked. This is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, but the restaurants here are delicious. Texas, you got. Very nice restaurants. I had, oh, God, where did we begin? We had Texan BLTs. They are BLT sandwiches <clears throat> with extra meat. And they also had, um, like, mayo and a side of onion, very good onion rings, and spicy seasoned fries. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a burp. Um, another place I had. It was called like Texas something, Texas Squirter, Texas Squirter, Texas Steeler. Oh, those are the people. Oh, um, I knew it. Should I look? Is it awkward? I'm gonna make them nervous. I don't know. Um, Texas something. Oh, it had sausage, shredded beef, two things of Texan local Texas cows with blue cheese crumbles, mozzarella sticks and mac and cheese on the side. Oh. Mm. And then I had homemade food made for me when you guys know I never eat homemade food. Delicious steak. Oh, salmon with honey, seasoned with honey. I went out for some Mexican food. Show the little clip you took of you at the Mexican restaurant with the cheese quesadillas. I had two plates. I had a loaded extra queso wet burrito with steak and fried onions. Oh. Or maybe it was peppers, too. And fried rice and beans, you know. And the chips and salsa. Oh. And then, um, yeah, I had those, the little quesadillas. Where did those people go? Oh, my God. They're all standing there taking photos of me. They're just right outside my window. Oh my God, there's like 20 people. Oh my God. Oh my. This has been, well, this is my life. I know. <clears throat> Let's go back to this patty mount. They're walking over again. Oh my God. We're just gonna keep this here. I never know people's intentions, and I'm in a car, so I'm not going to get out and go chase people down. It's weird. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Uh. Car rental, got a little squirt on it. <laughs> Maybe not give me napkins. I don't like that. Uh, I will say too, this is very good, but as nice as I remember. Or that I'm uncomfortable having people over there and over there. 
taking photos of me and just recording me, recording myself. It's uncomfortable. I hate it. I mean, I'm in a parking lot. I don't even know where I am. Yeah, I did a club in public a few times, and I hate them every time. I don't like people watching me. No, but I think it's not as memorable as what I remember. Like, this is good, but I would never get it again. This uh, sweet and spicy thing, it's a little weird, because it has mustard, too. It's good! But I think a classic quarter pounder from McDonald's is more... Um, a repeat. I don't like this. I'm done with this one. Ew. No. It's weird. Imagine sweet mustard. It's like they don't enjoy together. While they're all standing there taking photos like right up against the window. You know, I'm not Lady Gaga, you know. Don't tell him to remove his glasses. Don't tell him to take his glasses off. That's Al Pacino. That's Al Pacino. She's such a queen. Ugh, I'm not liking this. You guys, the people are not leaving. There's, uh, And then we're gonna do <clears throat> chicken sandwich. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's kind of comical when the, are you guys laughing at me for this situation I guess it's comical when you're not over there but for me I'm like uncomfortable and over there there's still I don't know 11 I don't, I'm not counting <laughs> girl women all huddled with their phones zooming in have the lights on. Oh. I know people just get excited, but especially I don't, you know, I never know what to say. And a lot of people watch me because they hate me or they know me for bad reasons or for lies, even sometimes. So it's like, I, and I've learned you never go up to people, you never approach people like, hi, are you looking at me? You want to talk to me? No, that's, that's, it's inappropriate. It's uncomfortable, yes, but if they want to come say hi, then I have to walk to you. You can't go walk up to them. Sometimes I just want to get over and be like, hey, that's something to do. I know you're staring at me. I you want to say hi and get a photo and then leave? Because I need to get back to this. But no, they stand there the whole time, and, you know, 20 minutes goes by, and, you know, it's in my head now. I'm like, oh. You know, what if they just throw, uh, throw an eggshell at the car, or I don't know. So... <laughs> Imagine if I was sitting here eating. I'm like, wow, this is not enough cheese. And all of a sudden, you see an egg go splat. I'm like, run down the window. <laughs> um, this was not as good as I remember. I will be honest. The onion rings were good. But they were better at the restaurants that I've been to. The patty melt was good, but it was still a little dry, to be honest. It could be wetter. The chicken sandwich was good, but again, it could be, uh... Popeyes is better. I guess this is not in my top five. No, let's take that out again. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no, how do like not get this? So I spent half this video being anxious by people circling my car. I don't know if you can see that, but some somebody put like something behind, and I'm not paying attention because I'm filming. Someone put something behind my wheel. I don't know if it's a rock. And is this like a trap to get me to walk out, to like get out the car? See what I'm talking about? These are old people, like 26, 27, 28. You should know better. Look at all of them. Actually, talk about hits the spot a lot better. Talk about hits the spot real good. This was fine for the first couple bites. Now I'm just stressed. And sickly. I don't like being watched like a freaking circus act. I don't like. There, there was like, I don't know, 12 women over there standing there for probably 15 minutes. And there's like a, a group of people there, and then they went on this side, and this, it's just, that ruined it. And I don't know if there's something behind the car. I do not feel good. This is scary. See him in the back? Uh, uh, this is creepy. Let's we'll see they're walking in the same car again. Maybe I can show them. I don't know what they're doing. You guys see them? This is like a scary movie. Like they're about to pop out. See how they're just like behind the car? I don't know what they're doing, but it's like making me very uncomfortable. Uh, so... <clears throat> So, uh, oh, there's more photos. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Anyways, I mean, I just thought it was just like really mean, just like go away from my car now. Get away from my car. Well, that'd be fine. Hey, then people can, like, leave me alone. They'll be like, oh, he's mean. Yeah, good, so go. I'm a mean person, though. So. Oh. <laughs> it's like one of my neighbors across the hall. She's so scared. Like, you don't, you don't exist to her. Hello, good morning. She's walking you. She's watching you. No, you don't say good morning. You don't exist to her, and you are a nuisance. You guys, I'm so full and fat. I'm, like, literally about to bust. Oh, that sounds really inappropriate. I mean, like, out my shirt. There we go. About to bust out my shirt. Oh, I just want to go to sleep now, but I have to go drive back. Well. It's been real. I'm going to keep this on in case there's people coming, coming to get me. I have it documented. Mm. They better not be in <laughs> my car. Yeah. I don't want to get out and check. I feel like it's a trap. Uh. Alright, let's turn this off. Well, I'm looking for my camera. Let's see. They ain't gonna be any napkins. This is kind of not good. Judge my driving, I'm very good, nice and slow. This, we need to put this on the front, here we go. One show this. Okay. 
my double chin is massive. Okay, so you can hear me. I don't know <laughs> if this is going on to a brand new video or if this is going to be an add-on to my life. I'm back in Dallas! And I've literally fasted except for some cheese on the plane because I flew first class in class. And they, they gave me, and I'm slurring my speech. <sighs> we have to eat first. So um, I have some water bubbles. Yay! Let's pretend this is a um, thumbnail, and this is a horrible thumbnail. Mmm, daddy. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. You guys, I'm back in Texas. I can't even believe it. It's, life has been going so fast for me, but the first thing we're going to do is actually my hand sanitizer because I was on that filthy airport. Ew. And I have all these band-aids on for my warts. It's disgusting, I know, and I don't want to keep the wet. Oh, no. Cheapers, creepers. <clears throat> splurt, splurt. You know, I kind of get... Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I like that noise. Let's just stop there. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's maybe, and I clearly I'm not the only one. And so that's why I get these random people saying, I like when Nick farts. Oh, and now I know that's going out. What's going in? <laughs> I'm not even making sense. This lighting's horrendous, though, but the car is very nice. But it looks like I'm like bald from this lighting. Ew. You guys, I've been having massive hair problems. I'm taking my biotin. All right. So, um, I still don't even feel clean from that hand sanitizer. That was a big gloop. So, um, <clears throat> I wonder if I should kind of turn you this way. Gosh, don't look at my hair. Oh, my gosh. It's just, it's the lighting, I swear. I'm not that horrible. Oh, my God. Nothing wrong with God. Actually, I'm very, I'm very attracted. Oh, see? No, it was better like this. You guys that don't have a lot of hair. <laughs> Orland. <laughs> no, I love bald guys. I think they're so... Especially if they're older. Oh. So it's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you know, here we are. I thought it would be hotter here. Because I think Orlando's more north. Nope, it's just as cold. Oh, cheapers. All right. What a burger. All right. I have to eat. Ooh, they still be so good. Now, this is a brand of uh, this car. I'm going to try to be very, very careful. Oh, my God. Mmm. Very similar to McDonald's. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, no! <laughs> I literally just said, let's not make a mess. And what did I do? I made a mess. My flight was nice. I sat next... Okay, well, I had to tell you about the car situation, too. It was, a, it was, it was really interesting. I sat next to this little old lady... She was visiting Orlando for the first time because her daughter was recently moved there. And she's coming back home to Texas and she's like, I miss Texas. Hmm. I wonder what for. She said she was there for, the t for two weeks and after the third day she wanted to go home. This is in first class. First class lady. I have two cheeseburgers, so stick around. One of them was free. Mmm. I'm just enjoying this right now. Now, the thing about Whataburger is they have spicy ketchup. So this is regular. Oh, it's like leaking. Did they give me one that's popped? I don't want a popped one. Alright, so here's regular ketchup. Here's spicy ketchup. The spicy one's in the black. Container. So open that up. The flight was very pleasant. I will say I can't stand flighting. I, I get very scared. Oh, the flight scares me. I get very afraid of flying. You guys know I used to cry and hyperventilate. I used to text all my friends like, "If I die, I love you." They're like, "Nick, you're going on the airplane. It's fine." Uh, anyways, it's getting easier and easier over time. You know what? I blame the psychic twins because they said that after something and I mean it's not their fault, I guess, but. 
it's a maturity thing too. You know, I'm young. Gosh, I'm still. Ooh, so this is spicy ketchup. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. I can't hold both. Yeah, I can. But I will say, flying first class takes a lot of uh, the scaredness away. My flight attendant recognized me when I went up to the bathroom. He said, "Um, are you are you on the internet?" I should have been like, yeah, I got Facebook. Do you use Facebook? Like, of course, we're all on the internet. What are you talking about? I knew what you meant, though. I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, I thought I recognized you. Oh, my gosh. I've watched your videos from time to time. You're felt so funny. I said thank you. But I feel a lot less anxious up there in first class. I don't feel crowded. The people tend to really mind their business, too. You know, the first class people, they're, half of them are business people, so they're all in there, like, they're writing emails, and they have their screen wide open so you can see what they're writing. Re, they all have re dot dot, re conference, re, the guy in front of me, I got looking, I was like, oh, he shouldn't snoop that, but it was just right, and it was older, too, so he had the font really big so you could see. Have you ever seen old people on their iPhones? The font's like, you could see one sentence take up the whole screen. So they're like, re convention center, re birthday party, re paper due Friday. So funny. And then the other people are just like, we need a book. The lady next to me, the um, the old lady, she she got a book. All right, let's talk some cheeseburgers. I'm like, I'm like talking. I'm so hungry. Ah. Mm. And that's only one. I got a whole large one over here. So Whataburger, if I for people that have never had it, it's literally just um I think Jack This was packing. That's too big. <laughs> They're fun to look at, but what do you do with it? Nothing. Just say, you know what? Grass is greener on the other side. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jack in the Box is better because it has more variety. The breakfast is 24-7. I think the burgers are better. The fries are better. Everything's better. It's my, it's my favorite. But Whataburger's very, very good, though. And I had some good breakfast here last time. I can't believe I'm back here. Oh! Wow, and I noticed it took a while for these to get made, but they're like, they're made to, not made to order, but, wow, that has extra onions, fried onions, I know you're, you're barely going to see, there's a patty, it's still smoking, there's the fried onions, avocado, and then raw onions, you're waiting for me to drop it, I know, with lettuce and um, smashed avocado, like I said, on Texas toast with uh, American cheese, that's the bun, the Texas toast. And meat. All right. Oh. That's all you get. I'm not even going to try to show you. Mmm. With extra sauce. Oh, the bacon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mmm. That's good. Last time I was here, I didn't order the right thing. Mmm. It's very loaded, too. Mm. The flight was nice. First class, I had cheese. It, I took my time. I was really polite. A little fork, a little knife. I cut all my cheese. It, you had a cheese platter as an option or shrimp salad. I always got the shrimp salad, but I was like, ew, vegetables. And number two, I was like, you know what? With the price of seafood, I guarantee there's like four pieces of shrimp in that whole thing. Uh, I got a I got a decent amount of cheese. I had fruit. I had the fruit first. Always have your fruit first. That's one thing I remember as a vegetarian. And I just quickly. I still had gas though. <laughs> not gas. Like bloated. Like yeah, not coming out gas. But you can tell when you're like getting bubble bubble in your stomach. Okay. <sighs> Gosh, you think I like took some something? It's just my brain static and static. Oh. Oh, these are big five-inch buns. See, five inches is a lot better than that big old... What was that? I actually like four inches, too. Hey, I'm single. 
four inches is good. Five inches is good. Bigger than that, it's just nice to look at, but that's it. I don't want to go to me. Mmm. It's, oh my God. Extra mayo, <clears throat> extra onion, extra ketchup, extra mustard. I like it so, I like it wet. So yeah, I'm single. Hey, Texas boys. I like that other sandwich more. You can tell by my reaction. But anyway, so the flight was nice. No turbulence. It's, you know... Oh! On the tree. <laughs> like, what's in the mirror? Um, yeah, and I just... I'm comfortable up there in first class. No one's bothering me. Okay, this one's good. This is sloppy. Mm. Oh, so this car, um, I don't know if I'm paranoid, but you know when someone's like over the top nice, you're like, why are you over the top nice? There's a reason. Like you are, don't even realize how you're coming across. There's no self-awareness. It's almost like a scene from one of those movies. Where you're the distractor, right? Some lady, she's a distractor. She's like, oh, you who? Oh, well, hello. Oh, and how are you on this fine evening? Oh, you know what? Don't tell anyone. Just for you, sir, we're going to give you a special upgrade for free. Perfect. Let me. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go walk out to the car and check on it, but don't go anywhere. And I was the only one in this whole thing because it's like, what time is it? It's nighttime. There was no one there. Being like, what is this creepy lady doing? She was very friendly. Very, she was uh, middle age, 30s, probably, 30s. Um, pretty nice, but there was something like over the top about like the niceness. And I'm like, what are you trying to do? She do it and she took forever and she come back. And she's like, is this the car you want? And usually, actually all the time, they t you, you pay for what you get for and you go out and you pick one out in there and they have a whole conga line of cars and you, you grab one. And I could see out the window, there was, it was a full garage. There was a, a lot of cars. And I was the only one on my side. Let me clarify. On the other side, there was two, two other... Well, actually, I was the last one. So two people in front of me. And I watched them go through their process. And then one guy behind me. And then she came. She's like, I'll take you over here. So I went over there. And the guy behind me went up to the, you know, the outside. And I heard the whole process. The other lady's like, all right, go out there. All the cars are lined up. Just pick one. You know, they'll ride it off. And that's how it always goes. They don't have to, like, walk you there and check that you like it and walk it back and sign off. So that's what happened. She walked there and she, she took forever and she came back. She's like, I got a special car for you, free upgrade. You don't have to tell anyone if it's free. I'm like, why are you saying this to me? Maybe she recognized me in my channel, which, you know, or maybe she was like, hi. That's what I thought, too. You know, sometimes when you're like, when you're kind of out of it or you're feeling good, you overcompensate because you're like, oh my god, I want to make sure I'm like acting normal so no one knows I'm like on something. How? Well, how? How are you? Like, it's like, no, you're trying so hard. Now I definitely know you're on something. You're overcompensating now. You're going above and beyond now. Now I know. So I could have been that. But she took her. And then I'm like, can I just go out and like pick one out? A car? She's like, yes, but I'll go with you. She's like, how about let's go look at this car together? You can leave your suitcase here, sir, and your and your your bag. I'm like, no, I'll keep it with me. I'm like, why am I gonna leave my bag here on the counter? There's no one else. At this time, the guy that was on the other side had already checked out and left. There was no one else behind me. It was empty.
So I took my suitcase, I took my um, book bag, went in the car, checked it out. I was like, oh, this is nice. White leather seats, ooh, fancy. See, this looks like a YouTuber car. It really irks me. I keep seeing online, people make videos about me, they're like, Nick is a millionaire, he makes, he makes like a million dollars a month, he's lo- Where? Where is this million dollars? It makes me so upset because people assume, and I get it, but people don't know two things. Number one, I know enough people on YouTube that this pay that you get is a huge spectrum. Huge. Say you get 100K views. For some people, that can literally be $30, $25. I know people where it's like $50. I know people where it's $100. I know people where 100K is like $300. I know two people I'm thinking of where 100K is like $800. God. And then I also know it also depends where you set up your channel, where you would locate. See, I created my channel in Colombia. Dirt. Uh, oh, sh I don't want to insult the country, but it's all computerized. And I. A geographical location. You know, people in India, they get like one cent per click or something. No, one cent per 2,000 clicks. They make nothing. Same with Korea, too. So I was in Colombia, so half of my channel barely even, didn't even break even. That's why I stay there for so long, people. So, ooh, Nick Akato, his main channel has 700 million views. That equals $50 million. No. 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 It did not. I know my kids do that. I stay that way. Um, my channels now, to this day, are not advertiser friendly. They're constantly getting the lowest ad rates. You know, because it's the way I choose to do my videos. Because <laughs> I figured I've been nice, nice for so long. Got paid barely anything. So I'm gonna do what I wanna do because I'm not paid regardless. Oh, you should be advertiser friendly. I was advertiser friendly for like three years when I first started out. So, I do what I want now. I do my thing. Because I'd, I'd rather have the, the attention than no attention and no money. I'm not to say I don't make money from YouTube. I do. But it's not balling like some of these people. I don't like when people assume that I'm like this, this billionaire. I'm making a million dollars. A million a month. People literally say this stuff. I'm like, you know, that would be so nice. But it's not true. Look at my content and think for yourself. If you were a brand, if you'd want a lot of money going on that person's channel, you probably wouldn't either. Just common sense, people. I've, I've been demonetized so many times I had to make new channels. Anyways, so I got this nice upgrade, but the lady was so over the top, and I'm, I'm thinking like, if she plant something in here. I think that either she recognized me, and this is how people act sometimes when they bacon we're too nervous to say hi or I don't know they want to admit it or I don't know I was just shocked that I got like why am I getting special treatment so anyways I had this beautiful car she, was, she kind of creeped me out but she was very friendly only because she was over the top friendly and she walked me there to look at the car, walked me back, and then she walked me there to say goodbye. She walked me out to the car again. No one else does that. Maybe it's because there was no one in line. Uh, you know, there wasn't a line. She's like, let me have fun. This, this is my job. I'm get a little exercise, go look at these pretty cars. I don't know. Maybe. But I've, I've rented cars many times. I've never been walked to the car. And wave goodbye. And the whole time it's like, you have a fabulous trip, Mr. Avocado. And if you need anything, make sure you ask for me. I will take good care of you. 
this is your first time in Texas, what brings you here? Oh, it's an honor to have you in this state. You would think Yashin knows my channel. But, it didn't seem that way. It seemed like when you, before I was a YouTuber, I've had people talk to me like that before. Like at the mall, when they're trying to sell me perfume. It's like, oh, you look amazing. Oh, isn't that smell beautiful? Ooh, like I'm walking by Macy's. Oh, smell that. Mm, wow. Just for you, I have this special deal. You know, it's just because you're so handsome. It's buy one, get one half off. You know, pushing so hard. It's it's like, oh, okay. Lay it on. Thick. I know it also was weird. When you go to, like, leave with your rental car, you pull up to the window, you give them your ID, the paper, they have to punch stuff in, they type it in, they look at your card, they say a bunch of things to you, remind you how to, like, return it. And, you know, this takes a good couple of minutes. So, like, you're waiting, and you, there's a car, a few minutes goes by, it leaves. The next one comes in, a few minutes goes by, it leaves. So it's a conga line, waiting for your turn, like the drive through When I pulled up, I handed him my card, and he was like, thank you, go on. I'm like, you're not going to ask me questions, you're not going to type in my name. You're, like, it was so quick, like, get out of here. I'm... And that's, and again, I was thinking, like, why am I, what is this, what is going on here? So he opened up the little, uh, uh, the little gate to let me pass. And so I, like, went out. And then I, like, stopped. And I'm like, let's see how long it takes for this car behind me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And then now another car's coming. I'm like, oh, shoot, now I have to go. Well, I was driving very slow. I kept looking, driving slowly, looking at my mirrors. And the car's still there at the gate. The man's asking the question. He's handing him papers back and forth. I'm like, what is in this car? It's like they're all in on it. I don't know. I've been watching too many crime videos. <laughs> and I have a headache from flying. But, you know, it was a good flight, though. And a good experience. No delays. Mmm. Hmm. I'm too fat for economy, even if I was a YouTuber. I literally can't put on a seatbelt, and I feel so squished. And it's also, like, embarrassing to have your role on someone else's lap. And it's like, it is what it is, but it's also just like, I should be paying for two seats, and I don't want to pay for two seats. I'd rather pay for one up first class. I'm too fat. I don't like this. I said that last time. The other chair, which was good. You know what it is? It's the mustard. It's just fine, you know? The buttery jack is where it's at. For my taste buds. But I like Whataburger's breakfast. But then again, I like everyone's breakfast. I love breakfast. I had such bad sleep last night because anytime I have to travel the next day, even though that my flight wasn't until like the afternoon, I just, I can't get deep rest because I'm like, maybe it's nerves. I told you, though, in my plane, my plane phobia, not phobia, but, um, it's always been, ask anyone that's watched my channel, I've always been a little, ew, of the airplane. Let's get some more of this spicy ketchup. Speaking of planes, there it is. Oh. So you're probably wondering, like, why, oh. Why are you not wearing a jacket? I've always been this way. I've, I was called the polar bear when I was a kid. Because I could be outside. In New York City. Ice cold. No jacket. And be fine. We used to go to the beach in like October or November for something. What's What's that October? Not Father's Day, not Mother's Day. Is it Labor Day? I don't know. Something where, you know, people had off work for a couple days. What was it for? You know, I don't love the spicy ketchup either. I don't think I love Whataburger as much as I thought I did. Um... And I used to go into the water. 
I would go into the water, and the water would be freezing in, like, November, October. Yeah, I was allowed. There's no lifeguard. I mean, I think... I don't know if I went deep in it. But just to say, all my family, they were in sweaters and jackets on the beach watching me swim in there. And they used to always laugh at it, like, wow. I've always been this way. When Orlin first met me, he's like, wow, you're, you're a radiator. You literally radiate heat. If you're cold, it's like, it's like, start your engines, boom, boom. Like, there's something in me that just knows how to, like, heat myself up in the cold. I feel the cold, but the cold doesn't bother me like it bothers a lot of people. Assuming that I'm eating a normal diet or a fast food diet or just a regular healthy diet, even. That broom, 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 start your engines doesn't really work if I'm under eating on, like, a meat diet or... When I was a fruitarian back in the day, oh, your body temperature is way out. It's not normal. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh. Peasants fell. Hi, peasants. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't love these fries either. You know what it is? They're getting really cold because it's so cold in here. But I, I like the cold. It's weird. Yeah, I'm eating cool fries. I'll stop. Gosh, I have to pee. And now I have to go into the Whataburger and go pee. <sighs> yeah, I'm only gonna like come here for breakfast, I think. God, I'm so fat. <laughs> it's like a it's like a tire. Look at that. It's literally, it's like an inner tube. This is not okay. This is not okay. All right, people. Well, that's the ending. My, my jelly rolls. Thanks for watching. Oh, uh-uh. I think the mustard throws it off. Yeah, I'm only going to be here for breakfast, though. I really want to... Oh, I did try it last time I was here. The honey chicken sandwich. The uh, um, biscuit in the morning. It's what it's popular for. And it's very tasty, I will say. I have to take my vitamins. <clears throat> well... I need to get going. God, I hate driving at night. I had no choice, though. I had no choice. But I hate driving at night. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. If I can avoid it, I do. Sometimes I can't avoid it, or sometimes I make an exception. If it's a big event, or like a really fun outing, or like one night to see someone I haven't seen forever, but like for the rest of the time here, you will not see. I'm a, I'm a, a vampire. Like nighttime, I have to. No, it's the opposite. What's, what hates the sun? Chickens. I go down with the sun. Like, I can't be up. I'll be up at night, but I can't drive at night. It just it makes me nervous. Um, I do. I'm a good driver. I'm, I'm very precautious, but I don't prefer it. You know, everyone has their preference. I think a lot of people don't like to drive at night. They do it because they have to, but they don't love it. There's no way, you know? These cold, 
clearly I'm so hungry. Look at me. They gave you warm nuts on the plane. Warm. They heat them up or something. They're they're always warm. Last time I had warm nuts too. Yeah. In first class, they all, they always give you drinks the moment you, you park your booty on the chair. Like, the moment you sit down, they're like, hello, can I bring you something while, while while we're waiting to, like, taxi? Basically, you sit there and sip champagne and watch everyone pass you and say, hi, you're poor. Hi, oh, you're so poor. Look at me at my red wine. <laughs> like, literally. And everyone was drinking alcohol. The old lady next to me had alcohol twice. And the guy in front of me had, like, four or five rounds of Hey, it's free. I don't drink alcohol. I will on occasion if it's like an event or, you know, someone that offers it or spur the moment. But it's so rare for me. I really don't. Um, I don't know. I just don't like it. You know, know what the main reason is? I don't like how I feel the next day. It just ruins me. And it's not worth it. It feels good to drink. That's for sure. I always have so much fun my friends and it feels so good oh you feel like you're queen like you want that song playing kings and queens and all of the kings how's it go or queens very fun like you just feel like a diva at least i do but the next day you feel so horrible you're like i'm never gonna be a diva again no and you're ruined well, yeah, that's how you know fast food's not good for you. I was breathing normally, and now I'm like, <sighs> my nose is clogged. It's congested. All right, peasants, goodbye. <sighs> you got a rare Nikocado right now. Three hours of sleep. Well, no, more like five hours of sleep. I need at least seven or eight, thank you. So I'm still deprived. You got Nikocado on five hours of sleep. Who just tra it wasn't that far. It's like a three hour flight or something, two and a half hour flight. It's not far, but um still the whole day is basically prepping for it. You have to shower, you have to trim your hair, you have to pack, you have to weigh your suitcase. Well, I don't have to weigh my suitcase. Um just the nervous for me I get anxious. Like the whole day is kinda of ruined if I don't have to travel. I can't do anything. I sit there and look at the clock. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to go into the bathroom and um, go to the bathroom and then I'm going to go drive to my apartment building. Okay. AKA a motel. Okay, well... Oh, let me take you five minutes. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Sauces, delight. Oh, by the way, we're eating this with cheese. And I only need four because the cheese goes in the front. We're li oh, listen, people. My cheese and McDonald's feast somehow, some way, some reason get a lot of views. Do people like to see me eat McDonald's? Probably does my hairline. And that's what we're doing. Four French fries. I like them hot. I like them skinny. I like them long. I like them puppet. Mmm. <laughs> Creamy, creamy crackets. Next, is this enough food? I'm starting to get concerned. So I got 40 nuggets. If this doesn't fill me up, I'm calling the police. Burger. Okay, so I got, I actually got a free Big Mac because I'm a great loyal customer. I don't like the app not supporting, listen. I mean, it's nice to get something for free, but you can't use m more than one free item in a, in a go. So that's just, that's horrible. At least at Chick-fil-A, I can, I can load up the whole cart full of free stuff. And Burger King, too. But now at McDonald's, they make you pay one at a time just to keep you coming back and you back and you back. <sighs> Try to make people spend more gas. Shame. Okay, I'm going to make this really pretty. Goodbye. One, two, three. 
I love cheese. Dum -dum. I love cheese. Dum -dum. Mm, this is a spicy cheese. Mmm. I love to eat. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Delicious <clears throat> and nutritious. I love cheese. You have to do the I love cheese song. Um, turn to the brightness go down. Turn the brightness down one, please. He's my clicker. For my clicker on my enter. Uh. I love. Sing with me. Cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Suck with your dark knuckles. Shine bright like a diamond. I love cheese. Da -da. We love cheese. Da -da. Yes, we do. My dietitian loves cheese. Dun dun. All my friends love cheese. Dun dun. The president loves cheese. Dun dun. And so does my tax attorney. I love cheese. <laughs> That's not enough cheese. Redo this. I love cheese. Da dun. We love cheese. Da dun. Ashley likes cheese. Da dun. Yes, she do. I love pig. Da dun. I love pig. Da dun. We love cheese. Da dun. Yes, we do. I love cheese. My body likes cheese. I love cheese. Yeah. <laughs> we eat. Do. I actually like these as well, but they're a little too big. Because I'm getting poor. These albums are to collect memories and moments. One time I went on Zepic. I went on on Zepic and I lost 50 albums. And I need to capture the moment. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Perfect for celebration and moments. And I actually have extra pages for all my moments. But I also have a better moment when I lost 56 elevators. I gained 100. <laughs> Last year at New Year's, I was 500 elevators. This year for the New Year's, I'm 520 elevators. I gained 20 pounds. In one year, 20 elevators. I gained 20 elevators in one year. And that's after I spent thousands on Ozempic. <laughs> it is what it is, people. It's swelling from the stress from you. You haters are the reason I'm gaining LB. I love pens. I have lots of pens.
so I can do on my journey. These are the pens that I need. These are great for journals. These are oh, I love Sharpie. I love sparkles. Anything sparkly, I like it. Helps me on my weight gain journey. I mean, weight loss journey. You guys have to realize I lost 89 lb. Eating nothing but rice and potatoes. Fried rice and potatoes. Mind you. Fried rice. 89 LB. So you guys have to realize just because I gained 56 pounds of water doesn't mean I gained any weight because it's just water. Super. This squishy, bishy, ishy, dishy. Squishy is for my weight gain journey. And I'm gonna, you guys have to realize. Excuse me. Walk by faith, not by sight. But well, excuse me, where's skip? I should be scooting by faith because I believe in counting calories. Walk by faith, it should say scoot by faith. Discrimination. And no one should be in sight. I think not. that's a bad journal. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. These look like Legos. I'm an expert. I love expert Legos. Expert, like pro advanced Legos. And this is all oh, so cute. You guys have to realize, and you guys have to realize, just because I gained a little weight from Olympic doesn't mean I didn't lose weight. Remember, it's I'm a mind of a mastermind. You guys just have to realize. It just realize. Oh. When it's pretty outside, we go to the park and play. Well, sometimes I trip and fall at the park. And then I have my foot dangling behind me. <laughs> I like to play tennis with my sister. Well, I was on a pro softball team when I was like in sixth grade. I was actually, I was, it was professional. And we used to travel and compete and do soccer and all those things because I'm very flexible. You guys just have to realize it was soccer. Where's the journals? No the journals. Where's the journals? My doctor says I need more salmon for nutrients because proper nutrition profiles, caloric densities of profiles of nutrients because the density of the triple leverage lipos, degenerate like lipos, go with the amino acid confusion, nutritional profiles 101. Steel has trash, which is very nutritious, and this fish wanted to live but I have to live too, and I have to eat. So bye bye fish, bye bye, no one's gonna miss you. Chicken time. Listen here, these are chicken chop, chicken chop. This is shock nation, because I know more about fish than you think. Let's just push it. I ought to give it a knuckle sandwich. 
This is health because there's no seed oil. Seed oils lead to degenerations of the joints, inflammation, and bad biochemistry of the bio microbiome. So always eat cows, and that's it. Oh, and I'm out of breath. Do we need chase? Where's the chase? Where's the chase? Lifeline. People always say, what are you going to do when you need a lifeline? I have chase. This is three tri brand. Tri in Spanish means three. Like tri. Does it? I don't know Spanish. Fry brand, which is three. The Holy Trinity, one, two, three. Me and me. New year, new girl. So I'm going to buy three. Extra chase. Oh, and they also have these on sale. I love cheese sticks. I love mozzarella. These are strange chains from Walmart. One cheese made. These are three, not three, not how many? Excuse me. $17. Seven For some chicks. That's 17 apple beats that I have to gain on camera to pay for this because I'm on food stamps and I actually have to make these videos to eat to survive. 17 times 3 is 29 plus these, which are $8. I can't afford this food. Great. Greasy. I'm going to start tonight. Summer check. Where's the manager? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. 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 